Yes, very good evening all of you. Welcome to today's aptitude session. Now in this new video, I am going to explain the solutions of the aptitude questions which are asked by the company emphasis. The date of examinees, examination is 14th June 2021, a very recent paper. So the questions which are asked in this, in this emphasis 2021, very, very finest questions, good quality questions, lot of chance to get the similar questions in the upcoming drives also. Let us see the first question. Yes, wherever you go, our network follows in the similar way, wherever you go, where you, whatever the written test you are going to write, time and work follows. That's the importance of time and work in every examination. So let us see this question. What is this? So three employees and four interns can complete a task in eight days. Let us say three employees, four interns can finish the task in 8 days. So which means 3 into 8, 24 employees plus 4 into 8, 32 interns can finish the task in one day. Right? Yeah. What is what next? While 4 employees and 3 interns can finish the task in 8 1 by 3, 8 3 is 24, 25 by 3 days. 25 by 3. Okay. 25 by 3 into 4. 100 by 3 employees. 25 by 3 into 3. 25. Uh, 3 interns. 25 by 3 days, right? 25. 75 by 3. Interns can finish the task in one day. Right? This is. So. If I equate these two as both are the one day works, if I equate these two, what I am going to get? So 2400 75 by 3. Cool. Yeah, from this, what the relation we are going to get? 21B is equal to, from this, what we are going to get is 21B is equal to 28A, which means. Uh, 73B is equal to 4A. This is one of the finest relation between 3B is equal to 4A. This is the relation we got between employees and interns, which is useful. Next, what we need, how many days can two employees, two employees and one intern can finish the job? So I'm converting complete into employees, so two employees. Instead of 1B, I'm going to replace B is equal to 4A by 3. 4A by 3, which means 3 twos are 6 plus 4, 10. 10 by 3A, how many days the job will be finished? This is what we need, right? So 4A, 3B, so this I'm going to take this. In so 4A, I'm writing as it is, instead of 3B, I am putting 4A, which is nothing but a 25 by 3 days. So, 8 employees can finish the job in 25 by 3 days. So, 1 employee can finish the job in 25 by 3 into 8 days. We need for 10 by 3 employees. 10 by 3A can finish the job in how many days? Simply 25 by 3 into 8 into 3 by 10. So 5 2 so 5 5 so 3 3 gets a cancel. 2 4 so 5 4 is are 20. Finest good quality question. Very very important model question. How many different ways can the letters of the word optical be arranged so that vowels always comes together? I always telling you that whatever the come together, make it is a group. Here vowels come together. Make vowels as one group. A, E, I, O, U. O, I, A. This is a one group. What are the remaining alphabets? P, T, C, L. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right. Is there any missing? So five groups. Five groups can be arranged in five factorial ways and these O, I, A can be arranged in three factorial ways. Five factorial is seven, five factorial is 
120 6 factorial is 720 5 factorial is 120 3 factorial is 6 12 6 are 720 remember my dear viewers whatever come together make as a group in a test exact the average marks of 15 test takers is 240 if the five test takers are subtracted the average marks decreases by 40 a premier basic question from the topic of averages 15 test crackers average is t40 this is the total marks so five test crackers their average is x if we subtract the this is the total marks of five test trackers if we subtract now this is for how many total 15 5 are subtracted now this average becomes what initially 240 40 gets reduced so 15 into 240 is nothing but 3600 minus 5x is equal to 240 minus 40 200 10 into 200 2000 so x is equal to 1600 1600 divided by 5 that comes out to be 353s 52s 0 320 this is the average marks of the five test crackers test test takers those who are, those who are going to subtract the simple interest on an amount 4 percent for annum for 13 months is more than the it's more the first is more than the simple interest on the same sum 8 months 6 percent annum so the simple interest is simply simply what prt by 100 this is what i am applying in the first case so principal principal is rate of interest is how much 4 percent right time period is 13 we need for year that is that is the divided by 12 this is more than how much it's the same principle um 8 months year 8 by 12 now rate of interest is 6 percent per annum right this is how much more 40 more so which means 13 fours are 52 p 4 eights are 48 p so 4 p is equal to 40 into 100 into 12 so p is equal to this is 10 times 12,000 12,000 is the principal amount principal amount simple question but important question as far as placement has been concerned log value log a power x b power y is simply x by y log a b right this is one of the property so if i apply this one this 169 is 13 square this is 13 power 1 this 121 is 11 square this is 1 power 1 so 1 by 2 log 13 to the base 13 that's we got minus 1 by 2 log 11 to the base 11 this is 1 this is 1 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 it is 0 which is what which is smallest number must be assigned to ash to make the number 3 7 8 ash 9 6 must be divisible by 8 my dear viewers the divisibility rule is one of the important topics right there is a definite this type of questions in the upcoming tcs drives also okay smallest number if i substitute 0 in place of hash what is the divisibility rule of 8 last three digits now the if i substitute hash is equal to 0 then the last three digits is 096 the last three digits is divisible by what 8 so definitely smallest we need that's it no need to think further the divisibility rule of 8 last three digits are the factors of a number then what is the smallest value of a so a into 2 power 6 into 19 is nothing but 13 into 7 81 is nothing but 9 square that is 9 into 9 that's okay divided by factors 7 cube 2 power 7 and 9 cube this is square root this is 3 gets cancelled uh, this is 2 power 6 so 7 gets cancelled only 1 is left here this is 7 this is 2 gets cancelled what is the left left over term in the denominator 7 square is left 1 2 is left 1 uh, 9 is left 9 twos are 18 7 square is 49 49 into 18 uh, 
uh, which is nothing but 882 this must be the minimum value of 8 this must be the minimum value of 8 to get the divisibility that's it the value of 8 the value of a is minimum is this one or the multiple of this one also valid but we need the smallest that's why 7 square into 2 into 9 this is, must be the value of a should be minimum Methali purchased a Walkman from her friend. She told it, sold it for 90. Had it been sold for 105, the gain would have been 1 by 4th of the farmer loss. What is the cost price? If profit is there, profit is nothing but SP minus CP. If loss is there, CP minus SP, right? The same thing I am going to apply over here. Let us say cost price of the Walkman is C. Cost price of the Walkman is C. In that case, what I am going to get? Cost price of the Walkman is C. <coughs> Just a moment, my dear viewers. So, had it been sold it for 105 minus cost price, this is equal to 1 fourth of the cost price minus what? 90. This is what is given, right? This is what is given in terms of, right, if I solve, I will get the value of cost price, which is nothing but 420 minus 4 CP is equal to CP minus 90. So, 5 CP, 420, 90, 510, 510 divided by 5 is nothing but CP, that comes out to be uh, 102. If LCM of two prime numbers is uh, LCM of two prime numbers A and B, A greater than B, remember prime numbers, since 713 is an odd number, so 713 is an odd number and uh, LCM of the two prime numbers is 713, the result is odd, definitely A and B must be odd, A and B must be odd, then only the LCM is odd over here. Okay, that is one of the, is that necessary? So, 713 odd prime. 713 is divisible by 3, 5, 7, no, 11, no, 13, no, 17, no, let us try with 31, 31, 31 twos are 62. This is 9, 3. 31, 3s are 93. Yeah, perfectly divisible by the prime number 31. So, 31, comma 23 are the two, two prime numbers that we are looking for. 31, comma 23. If we do 31 into 23, we are going to get the LCM as 713 because the prime numbers LCM is nothing but their product. Since the two numbers are prime, so the LCM is simply their product. So A greater than B. So A should be 31, B should be 23. What we need? 3B minus 2A. 3 into B. 3 into 23 which is nothing but 69. 2 into 31 which is nothing but 62 69 minus 62 is 7 finest quality question my dear viewers right like time and work time, lcm hsf is also important topic for all the placements without time and work without lcm hsf topic there is no placement paper from the last 15 years the causes of productivity loss are to be written around a circle in an annual report, in how many ways analysts write them around the circle if the number of causes are 5? Simply, whatever the terminology is given, simply the arrangement of n things in a circle, the arrangement of n different things, arrangement of n different things around a circle can be done in n minus 1 factorial ways, 5 minus 1, 4 factorial. A box contains 6 red, 7 green, 5 blue. Each ball is different size. Different size. Different size is very important term. The probability that the red ball being selected from the smallest red ball. So definitely only one smallest red ball out of 6. 
the probability is 1 by 6 very simple if you see this question in a different way it will take a lot of time just think smartly the smallest ball is only 1 total red balls are 6 so favorable by total answer over for how many years do we invest the principal of 3000 30000 in a company it amounts to 90,000 at an annual rate of interest of 6%. It is given that the interest is compounded annually. Compounded annually. Just to see my dear viewers. Just to see my dear viewers. How I am different from other trainers. Amount is 90,000. Principal is 30,000. So principal becomes how many times? Principal becomes how many times? 3 times. Principle becomes three times. In what mode? Compound mode. This will generally happen in 113 years. This is generally happen in how many years? 113 years. The principle will becomes three times. In compound interest case, it is happening in how many years? 113 years. 113 divided by rate of interest is 6. 113 divided by rate of interest. This is generally this will happen in this way in these years generally this is happen in this is 113 by r this is the standard if you remember it is easy otherwise you have to remember we have to calculate we have to go by a traditional way if we do this 113 divided by rate of interest is 16 approximately we are going to get 18.9 the answer is definitely 19.08 in this simple way we can finish otherwise most of the trainers are going to say the method is this one amount is equal to principal into 1 plus r rate of interest power n Right, amount is 90,000, principal is 30,000. Upon cancellation, we are going to get a 3 over here. So, rate of interest is 6%, 1.06 whole power n. This is taking and taking log on both sides, taking logarithm on both sides, log 3 divided by log 1.06 is equal to n. So, log 3 value has been given as 0.4771 divided by so log 106 is 2.025 so log 1.06 is definitely how much 0 0.025 by using on screen calculator i'm going to get the answer is approximately 19.084 right in this way this is the formulatic way otherwise remember in case of compound interest the principle becomes the principal becomes three times. The principal becomes three times in how many years? 113 divided by rate of interest. This is the simple way. If it is doubled, the principal becomes doubled in how many years? 72 divided by R. 70 divided by R. Right? Better use this. If you remember, it is easy. It is faster. Otherwise, it takes a time of three, two minutes. If you remember this, it is a matter of less than a minute. Thank you one and all for listening this session. Repeatedly listen. You will get a good knowledge. Thank you one and all. If, any, if anybody wants my complete video course, you just contact uh, you just contact to me sivagana at the rate of gmail.com. The complete video course I am giving at a reasonable way. At a very, very reasonable way. Thank you one and all.